Meg humiliated as Julia Roberts ignored her demands but cooperated with the Obamas in Netflix's new film. As we reported earlier, Meghan Markle said that she has a new team around her who are planning her next steps as she reinvents herself in Hollywood. The source also claimed that Meghan's next step has to be rooted in giving back and philanthropy, and that she's been in contact with fashion houses and documentary directors. There isn't anything locked in yet, but the most promising thing for everyone seems to be Meghan and Harry highlighting important issues through the docuseries and bringing attention. They want to be producers, but don't want to put in the effort so that they hire other directors to do it for them. However, Meghan's plan hasn't brought any results, as no one wants to cooperate with her, especially amid the strike. Meanwhile, her rival Michelle Obama is succeeding in a film production career with an upcoming film. Meghan will be even crazier when the person who she spread rumours about being friends of her refuses to participate in Meghan's Netflix movie, but instead stars in Obama's movie. Netflix's official trailer for Leave the World Behind, an apocalyptic thriller, stars Ethan Hawke and Julia Roberts, and is executive produced by Barack and Michelle Obama. The project is the latest production by the Obamas as part of the Netflix overall deal, which they inked in 2018. They recently released the docuseries Working, What We Do All Day. The film makes its world premiere on October the 25th as AFI Fest's opening night pick, with a red carpet gala at the TCL Chinese Theatre in Hollywood. It then reaches select theatres November 22nd and begins streaming on Netflix on December the 8th. Written and directed by Sam Esmail, Mr. Robot Metropolis, based on the novel by Ruman Alam, the chiller begins when Scott and his daughter Ruth Mila arrive at the luxurious home rented for the weekend by the Sanfords and their kids, Archie and Rose. What starts with a blackout in New York City soon spreads to a collapsing world in unexpected ways. Esmail told Vanity Fair the former president gave him script notes on the film. In the original drafts of the script, I definitely pushed things a lot farther than they were in the film and President Obama, having the experience he does have, was able to ground me a little bit on how things might unfold in reality, Esmail said. You can see Julia Roberts starred in Obama's film, so there's no way she'll join Meghan and Harry. Earlier this month, Meghan Markle has reportedly contacted Julia Roberts as part of her latest move to cement a Hollywood career. Among many other potential plans, Meghan seemingly wanted to relaunch herself as a Kardashian-style influencer, as she was personally reaching out to many A-list stars, among Roberts in hopes to come out with joint projects. As Megan is also producing now on projects for Netflix, she tried to find something on screen to interest Julia, but it failed because no one in Hollywood wants to work with Megan. No one's working publicly for Megan, that's her problem. It's true the Obamas see for what Meghan Markle is, so do most of Hollywood, and most of old money in high society. She's tainted goods, no one wants to deal with the crap, but she's not even on the Obamas' radar.